Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Peda and today I'm going to be doing a pretty little thing haul. I'm really excited to show you guys all the things that I got. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So the first thing that I got was this orange satin shirt. It's a really, really lovely colour. I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. It's got these lovely long sleeves and then the button detail all the way down the shirt. And it is quite a long shirt. I got this in a size small and it was £17.60. However, when I shopped on Pretty Little Thing, they were having a 20% off discount code. I think I got it from another site. I always search up whenever I go shopping for a discount shop because I never want to pay full price for anything. So it is a bit expensive before the discount, but after everything, it's not too bad. However, the material on this is not very nice at all. It's a really cheap material, it's very rough, the satin, but I really, really love the colour, so I am a bit conflicted whether I'm going to keep it or not. And this is what the orange satin one looks like on. <laughs> As you can see, the colour is so gorgeous, really, really lovely colour. Unfortunately, the material just spoils the beauty of it. What's strange about this one is that the white one, um, the arms are too long, but this one is okay, which is a bit weird because I think I got them in exactly the same size. They're both a size 8, but it is still a bit on the baggy side. I don't like how big it is. I want it to be more of a figure-hugging fit. Beautiful colour, but just not a nice material. So next up I got this black top which says true love never lasts, a bit of a depressing slogan but I really love the print of it, I think it's just a bit fun, a bit of a joke and I wanted something a bit basic that I could dress up a bit with maybe like a black skirt or black leather jeans, just something that I could play around with different outfits and still kind of keep it casual. So again, I got this top in a size small, and this top was £9.60. So, have I got a bra on? Oh yes, I do. So this is the black tee on. It's really, really cute on. I've paired it with a nice uh, black leather skirt. A bit of a depressing slogan, but it's cute and fun. Just a bit playful. I swear, I'll be, look, I'll be looking at the things that I've bought and I'm like, why did I buy this? So the next thing that I got was this frill bodysuit. I thought it was a top on the website. I don't think it actually said bodysuit. Or maybe it did. I don't know. But I thought it was a top. I don't, I'm not really a fan of bodysuits. I find them a bit uncomfortable. So I never really end up tying them up. It's got this little frill detail on the top here and then as well on the ends of the sleeves. It's this really simple basic white kind of top. I guess you can wear with so many different outfits. Um, I got this again in a size... Oh, I got this in a size 8. And this is what the bodysuit looks like. Sorry about my bra, I don't know if you can see it or not. It is a cute bodysuit, it's really really nice. I do like it, it's growing on me. I don't think I'll wear it strapped up though, because I just don't, I just find bodysuits really uncomfortable. Um, especially when I need the toilet. I know it's just like a click it out, but <laughs> it's too much when you, when you need to go and you're desperate. Putting down a zip and then unplugging something is just too much. I just want to go when I want to go so I'll leave it open but yeah it's really really so <laughs> it's really really cute so yeah <laughs> how many times am I going to say yeah as it is now autumn coming up to winter season I have to start getting more jumpers so I decided to get this lovely white flared jumper it's got a bit of colour detail on the front here with the black stripes and then at the ends of the sleeves it's all flared 
and open and then it's got this little tie up here as well <laughs> the jumper itself is really really lovely soft and just cozy it's not very thick so I don't think you'll, you'll survive with this in deep deep cold deep deep when does the cold become deep I don't think this will work well when it's super super cold but for autumn time and early early winter time this will be perfect I'm probably going to pair this with some black leather trousers and yeah it's a really really simple but kind of fun and sophisticated look I really really like it and this jumper I got this in a size extra small I just prefer a bit more of a tight fit and I this was 16 pounds so this is the jumper on and the arms I just I'm not really feeling them I know I can tie them up a bit and maybe across like that but it's just it's a bit weird it's just a bit of fabric that's hanging I just don't like the jumper but as I said it's really really lovely and soft it's a cute jumper but unfortunately it's a thumbs down for me I also got a little bit of jewellery on the site as well um, I will open it up, let me see when I saw it in the packaging I just thought no, I'm not going to wear it so maybe the image in the model was a bit different to what I thought it was going to be when it came because I'm just not feeling it here in person so it's this multi-chain um, necklace and it's so tangled, oh my god this is what I hate about multi-chain necklaces because they always get so tangled and it just stresses me out so much anyway so it's got this kind of long rectangular shaped gold thing and little pendulum and the triangle sorry about my nails let's just not talk about them <laughs> and a little bit of a triangle marble turn 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 there it is it's quite it's a pretty necklace it was four pound 80 but I don't know I just don't see myself wearing it I just don't like this marble thing I think it's a bit too large that's probably why I'm a bit put off with it I'm super super excited to show you it is this gorgeous red jumpsuit it's got this ruffle in the front and it's a bit of a short jumpsuit I think it comes up I did try it on I think it just comes up just above my ankle I love the color of it I love red I love red so much color of love and just such a beautiful color especially in winter time a really really simple basic jumpsuit that you can really focus on your makeup and jewelry and a nice pair of heels or sandals something like that perfect for a day out or even the night wear as well it's got so many options with this and it's so beautiful the material is super stretchy and it's a pretty decent material no nothing too fancy but it's not too cheap either and this was 16 pound so here is my lovely flared red jumpsuit I really really love this jumpsuit it's so cute so I'm not sure if you can see the my bottom of my feet and haven't even shaved my legs anyway so you don't want to see them but they go up about halfway um, on my lower legs and I am 5'3 I just love this little thing I love it it's so cute it's really really basic but the color is really lovely I love red I'm in love with it so much color of love When I actually think about it, I do have quite a few red things that I've collected over the, this year. A red top, loads of red jumpers. Oh, I just love red. <laughs> hey, when I saw these pants online, I was so excited about these. I love the flair of them. I love the color of them. But then I saw them when I opened up the packaging and I was super, super disappointed because the material is horrible. They look like Primark ones and how much did I pay for them? 
I paid 14 40 for this. And this would be £5 in Primark. It's ridiculous. I hate the material. It's just, just a horrible material. It's one of those, um, I think it's like, what is it? Let's have a look. Let's see if it says. It's viscous. It's horrible. Absolutely horrible. Because. Ah, oh, so my last item. Another satin top, exactly the same as the orange one, however in white. Again, the button detail. The buttons are actually really, really cheap as well. Something I was going to say, they could have just used better buttons. There's so many other buttons they could have used. These are horrible ones. Yeah. Um, again, material's horrible. <laughs> it's not that bad, the material. I, it would look a lot better when it's ironed, but there's it's just not a nice satin it's not nice at all and it looks like it just it's not doesn't have any shape to this at all it's just a straight shirt you know you want it to have a bit of a curve oh it just doesn't look nice again this was 17 pound 60 which is a bit for what it is the material the feel of it it's expensive if it had been a lot nicer, then I would have been happy to pay for it, but no, it's just not nice. It's just a horrible. <laughs> so this is the white satin top on. I got this in a size 8 and it's just huge on me. It looks like a boyfriend top on. The arms are a bit on the wrong side of course it's not that nice looking because it's not ironed but as you can tell I'm just not feeling it not feeling these buttons not feeling the material it needs to go back on because I am not keeping these these are horrible no no way am I paying £14.40 for these these are being returned and they can throw a fit. I'll find super glue and glue this back in because there is no way I'm keeping them. Oh my god, how can this tag? They do this purposely. They make the tags really easy to come off so that, you know, you accidentally take it off so they don't do your return for you. I am finding super glue. This thing is being super glued back on and they are being returned. So here are the flare trousers on, as I said the material is just horrible but the fit is nice. Let me put my leg up on the chair so you can see the flare fit. <laughs> so they've got a lovely little flare to them. Nice material, really really stretchy. And it looks quite nice on, but I just hate them. I think they're really, really ugly. But I just, I love the print of them so much. I'm sitting down because I'm tired. I don't even know what time it is, but I know it's late. And this is the last item. So peace out, Daryl. So that is it for my pretty little thing haul. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos i will try and upload every single week and i'm going to try now to start doing makeup tutorials um and yeah i don't know what else i want to say i got lights now and i've got a different background yeah i forgot to say that i decided that i should finally get out of the living room before my mum kicks me out and I wanted to get a bit more light so I can just start filming videos whenever I want because I usually have to wait until the daytime and the sun comes out. But now I can do a video at 3am and 4am and 5am so I'm really excited to be doing that and it will help a lot with my uh, makeup videos. But I'm also hoping to get a ring light as well because these are good but... They're just not enough. I want, I want the glamour. I want the glitz, the glamour. I want everything. So yeah, I'm really excited for all that. But I hope you enjoy and like the new, this new background or my quotes and stuff. 
I got some really pretty coats. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment in down below what you want to see next, what you liked about this and your experience of prettylittlething.com as well. My view is that some stuff is okay, most of the stuff is just horrible though. It was the same as the boohoo the hole as well though because I just felt really disappointed with both sides. The quality of things is just not up to par with the prices of things. I could probably get better stuff in Primark which is a bit ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye!